Now that we've finished the first eight chapters and are going to go into the next eight chapters, I want to recap a little bit about what's gone before. With uh, Victor's creation of the monster, Victor joins the ranks of the male mother. And he is a mortal. And by doing this, by creating life, he takes on not on the auspices of the female, but that of deity. And as I have emphasized elsewhere, you know, maybe it's okay for Zeus to be a male mother. Uh, maybe it's okay for uh, Pygmalion's creation to come to life because a deity steps in and helps him. But with Victor, he is doing it on his own. And even though I have stressed that he is upsetting the natural order of the cosmos, the world, the universe, however far you want to go with it, I do want to point out that Shelley never never mentions God. She never talks about uh, Victor going against the laws of a deity, but he is going against the laws of nature. Now, that leads me into wanting to discuss just a little teeny bit, because remember this still is a literature class, about the Romantics. Now, of course, Mary Shelley was married to Percy Shelley, uh, one of the most famous Romantic poets. And in the Romantic period, uh, when, we, when we talk about the Romantics, it wasn't the, oh, I love you, mm, I'm so romantic, here I have a rose, type of thing. The ideology of the Romantics was that the universe is a caring place, that nature is benevolent and will take care of you. And we see this not only in, um, you know, the work of Shelley, but Wordsworth in particular. And uh, Mary Shelley quotes Wordsworth in, I think it is the ninth chapter. We are to, as humans, find peace and solace in nature. And remember this, because this is what uh, Victor is going to do continuously, uh, is to find peace, peace in nature, and he will talk about this. Okay, enough about that. Now, at the end of chapter 8, we see poor Justine Moritz is going to be executed for the death of uh, Victor's brother, William. And Victor is quite certain that the monster is responsible. He knows that Justine is not responsible, but he thinks that his creation is responsible. And I just, I called uh, the creature a monster, and I said, I try not to do that. But however I term it, it comes down to semantics, and the creature is seen as a monster. And keep in mind the definitions of monsters. They are not just, um, you know, dragons and um, ogres, but creatures, beings, perhaps I, sh I should say, who defy the ethics of a culture that go against all that is good. And this is something that you really do need to bear in mind as we continue on. Now, at the end of Chapter 8, uh, uh, Victor says... Uh, talking about Justine. But I, the true murderer, felt the never-dying worm alive in my bosom. And then later he says, I bore hell within me, which nothing could extinguish. extinguish. And so he is saying that by extension of him creating the creature and the creature killing William and by default uh, is responsible for Justine's death, Victor is saying, I'm responsible. And throughout the rest of the book, there is a very strong correlation between the creature and Victor. In fact, the creature pretty much becomes Victor's alter ego. And you will see them sharing attributes. And again, as the novel progresses, I will point these out. Now, last week I asked you about Walton, and uh, at least one person, a couple of you mentioned that uh, Victor and Walton share some similarities in that they had solitary childhoods, and they are both on uh, a quest. Now, Victor's quest was originally to create life, and now he's on a, he'll, he'll be on a quest to extinguish that life. And Walton's quest is to find the paradise in the north 
which again relates back to the Romantic poets and also, it, you know, uh, belief that have been in, in, in place for centuries, not just um, with the Romantics. So they too are alter egos. But this alter ego correlation between the monster and Victor will continue without, throughout the book. And so I want you to keep an eye on for that. So recap, and I'm going to talk about, not talk, not talk about chapter nine here in just a minute.